Finally, today we take a look at some OSU research looking at alternative sources of irrigation. The goal? Finding some new solutions for helping crops during extreme drought. Sun up Seth Fish put together this story. So this project is about uh, looking at uh, the opportunities for conjunctively using uh, uh, salt water and fresh water that we have in southwestern Oklahoma. We have naturally occurring uh, salt water in southwestern Oklahoma because of geological formations and so a lot of uh, you know the tributaries that, that that we have down there you know the water in there is pretty uh, pretty salty so salinity level is high and then we have uh, naturally occurring groundwater as well so as the uh, concerns about water availability decline and this year would be a good example in 2022 uh, a major reservoir down there that provides uh, water for uh, cotton irrigation has been uh, the level in the reservoir has been so low that they haven't been able to irrigate using that water in the reservoir actually this project fits very well within the water for 2060 um, plan that the uh, oklahoma water resources board is working to implement in the state so the state legislature several years ago passed the Water for 2060 Act, uh, which set the goal of using no more fresh water in the year 2060 than we did in the year 2010. So to meet growing demands and also to deal with uh, declining water uh, levels around the state, you know, more and more we're going to be looking at marginal quality water sources like we're looking at for this project. So in a dry year like this, uh, this is really the, the kind of situation where using marginal quality water would really come into play. Uh, the producers have very limited fresh water, so in a year like this, if this works, this would provide a more continuous source of water that we don't currently have uh, access or that we're currently utilizing. Uh, to be able to um, evaluate the potential for conjunctive use of salt water with fresh water, first we need to have tools that can look at uh, the impacts of you know applying water with higher salinity level on crops. So what, what would be the impact on crop yield? What would be the impact on soil? So we have to get the surface water hydrology right and groundwater models set up and we have to run those salinity models modules to be able to track salinity over, um, you know, in downstream areas because we're also concerned about what happens to um, the watershed as a whole as we apply, you know, uh, saline water for irrigation in one part of the basin, what would be the potential impacts downstream because we know that there are some other uses that may need different salinity levels so we cannot just, you know, um, change salinity um, in, in one part of the watershed without regard for what happens downstream. Yes, so we play a supporting role to uh, all the modeling efforts that uh, Dr. Murchie and his team are doing. We're collecting uh, water samples from seven surface water bodies in uh, southwestern Oklahoma, as well as three groundwater bodies to help them with the calibration and validation of their, their models. So that helps to make sure that their models are correct. Um, so we're measuring uh, electrical conductivity, which is an indicator of the level of salinity in those water bodies. And then we're also measuring flow in those rivers and streams, as well as uh, groundwater depth as well. This issue is going to become much more important uh, in the years to come, in the decades to come. And that's why we, we're excited about developing this model and we're developing, uh, you know, the, uh, the assessing different scenarios of conjunctive use of uh, fresh water with salt water to support um, agricultural production. It's extremely exciting. And like Dr. Murchie said, it certainly has applicability throughout the southwestern U.S., but globally we're seeing the same situation all over the world where we have declining freshwater supplies, growing uh, needs for food and for water, and so globally we're having to look more and more towards these marginal quality waters and how we can better utilize them. <laughs>